I built the frame of the dome over a three month period. I cut and fit all the arcs together indoors, sanded them flat, then measured and cut the 1 8 inch plywood skins to fit. When all the parts were ready, I moved them outside and assembled the whole thing in a few hours, split over a night and a morning. Like the dome support ring I showed you earlier, the ribs of the dome are made from laminating many arcs of 3 quarter inch plywood. Then the individual ribs were put together with steel angles. After assembling all the dome ribs, the pre-cut plywood skins could be attached. I used numbers and registration marks to make the assembly easy and quick. The whole dome assembly rides on a 2 inch tall aluminum ring, 3 8 inches thick. It attaches to the main base ring and rolls around on four casters that are mounted up on the dome support ring. Then it was time to start laying the fiberglass. I started with all the main seams to prevent leaks. Then I proceeded to cover the entire dome surface. The dome was then sanded, which was really a mess. This was the part that makes you itchy from all the glass fibers. After the sanding, we applied the paint. I opted for green, which really is non-standard for domes, which are historically white. I wanted not to distract too much from the local environment. We'll see if the heat becomes an issue in the summertime. Finally, I started assembly of the dome doors. They are held on by large rack slides. The doors themselves only weigh about 50 pounds. We'll see how these slides work over time. There's the crane.
okay, Flo? Yeah. <laughs> 